Yo, what's going on traders? What's going on today? My name is Chris and today I got a special video for you guys. I want to show you guys why I think Telegram is a super overpowered messaging application and it's way ahead of its time and why I really like it and why I think that all traders and all sort of you know, business people, people that like contact each other on the internet, basically everybody out there, you need to be using Telegram. And if you're using Discord, this video is going to convince you to move from Discord to Telegram. For some of the features I'll explain to you here today, but at the end of the day, I'm not saying you got to ditch Discord. I'm just saying that there's a lot of things that Telegram does better than Discord. And it's just a really fun app to use if you just want to fool it around. And it's also good for productivity purposes too. So thank you for watching. My name is Chris. This is Virillo Trading. We help traders learn about the tools, methods, problems related to trading. Subscribe and like the video. Let's get on with it right now. Thank you. So over here, we're looking at Telegram. The first amazing feature and advantage about Telegram is the fact that they have a standalone Windows X64 application. By the way, Discord does not have one. They use 32-bit, which is severely outdated at this point, and it's just slow to run. It uses a lot of processing power. If you have a 64-bit operating system and you're running Discord 32-bit, their standalone app, it's an absolute atrocity of a disaster. Never use that, okay? So when I'm using Discord, I use it on the browser version and it works okay to say the least. Whereas Telegram has a 64-bit application, I'm gonna open the task manager right now. So we have Telegram desktop here. It is using some memory, which makes sense. I'll just bring that over to the side. I'll bring Telegram over to the side and then I'll go and start, you know, texting one of my bots. I don't know, I'll just say hello to this Echo bot. And yeah, of course it's gonna use some power, but it's, it's just a very lightweight application and probably the most power it's using is with the high quality stickers uh, that it has, the sticker animations and all that. And the stickers are one of the coolest things about Telegram, by the way, and we'll show some of those. So yeah, major advantage, X64 application right on Windows, just doing some calculations here on my calculator bot, testing it out, it's running remotely on my Linux server. So that's the first reason why Telegram rocks with their desktop application for Windows. Everything that's possible here is also possible on the mobile app. There's actually more features on the mobile than there are on the desktop version, like the end-to-end -end secret chats that they have. So the only way to have an end-to-end -end encrypted conversation with somebody on Telegram is by using a secret chat, and those are only possible from one device to another. And the secret chats are only available on the mobile devices. Now, when you're not using the secret chat, the chats are not end-to-end -end encrypted. What they are is they're encrypted on the Telegram servers. If you wanna read about why they decided to do that, there's a whole documentation about it and you can spend time reading it. And I would recommend reading that if you're interested in the security behind Telegram. Whereas with the secret chats, it's only gonna be on your one device to the other device of the person that you're messaging in the secret chat and that chat will not be accessible on any other devices except for those two devices. The next way that I use Telegram is as a personal storage system, as a cloud storage. It's really good for this. So they have this thing called saved messages. So if you're on the desktop version, you just click on the top left corner and then you find saved messages. And on the mobile app, it's gonna be also one of the top options here when you click on the um, settings menu. And you go to your saved message here. And basically what this is, is your own personal cloud storage. And this is really good. The way that I use this is basically to send myself photos from my desktop system that I wanna get onto my mobile device or vice versa. If I take a photo of my mobile device, and I wanna get it on my desktop. So for example, this was an image I took on my phone and then I put it in my saved messages and now I can look at it here on my desktop and it says, a man should never fall in love unless it's with a 35 millimeter F1.4. G master lens, uh, which is kind of funny. So there's your saved messages. And another way that you can get free cloud storage on Telegram is by using bots. So you go ahead and you send a message to bot father. You can create a brand new bot from bot father. You just select new bot and then you have to give it a name and all that. And then you'll go ahead and send a message to your bot. And then you can basically have free cloud storage in your bot. So I have this one bot and I named it dev. And all I do is I use it as a notebook for things that I have to do regarding some of my tasks and that's it. And, and that's an example of using a bot as cloud storage. Another thing is if you have multiple phone numbers, you could have multiple Telegram accounts and then you could use those different accounts as cloud storage as well to send yourself messages and files. Another thing regarding the storage and why I like it so much is because you can send full quality files without compression. And this is really game changing. I've never seen a messaging app that can actually do this where you can say export a video the size of the files like a gigabyte or more. You can actually send the full sized file to your saved messages and then download that file on your mobile device. The ability to actually send yourself the full quality images 
and then get them on your mobile device is pretty game changing. When you send an image, you get the option to compress the image or not. Now, most of the time when you're just sending an image to a chat or a group, you actually would wanna compress the image because when the image is compressed, the user doesn't have to click on it to load the image. There's a setting in Telegram to reduce your storage space. If you don't want it to load all your images all the time by default, the thing is if the images are compressed, then Telegram will load them automatically because it's just a small file size. So like I said, most of the time you do wanna compress the image if you're just sending it to a friend like that. But when you wanna send a full quality image, obviously you wanna not compress the image and then send it. And then you can see it'll send the full file there. Now the upload and download speeds in Telegram are not exactly that fast. And I think they have that in their Telegram premium. If you get that, then you get the faster download and upload speeds, which again, it's not really much of a big deal. It's not like you're gonna be using this to send yourself you know, thousands of files a day. So the next thing we'll talk about is the screen sharing capabilities here in Telegram and the calling capabilities. And I'm blown away by the interface that it offers actually, because I think it's quite good. So what I'm gonna do is go ahead into one of these groups over here, and I'm going to start a video call. I started this video call here, and it's in this group, right? You can start a video call with an individual, or you can start a video call in a group that you're an admin of. In this case, I have this testing group right here. And I started a video call by selecting one of the top right options here. And now I have this call open. The title of the call is Boss Gains. So let's go ahead and change the chat title to something else. So let's name it YouTube Test Call and we'll save that. And then the name has been changed. So right now I started the call as the actual name of the group. You can start the call as the name of the group or as your individual Telegram account name if you want. Go ahead and share my screen here by selecting the top left corner, then selecting share screen. So I'm sharing the screen with that on it currently. And what I'm gonna do is join the call on my mobile device and then show you, so I'll join the call. And I can immediately see the screen here in full quality. That's what the screen looks like. And you can see it's in full quality. And on the side, I can see all the group members that are actually in the chat. So if you're on a mobile device in a call, let's say, you wanna share your screen, you click on the video icon at the bottom and you can choose to share your front camera, your back camera, or your actual phone screen. So I'm gonna share the phone screen now and I'm gonna broadcast that into the call. And now it should appear here on my desktop in a second or so. I'm sharing my phone screen into this Telegram call here. And I'm also sharing my desktop screen from my other application. So you can see how you can be pretty flexible with this. It does appear to be in the right quality there. All right, so I've got a little bit of a screen share going on right now. And I'm gonna join this group just to show you what the screen sharing looks like. So I'm joining this video chat here, okay? And I'm gonna click here to look at the active stream. So this is my mobile device. Right now I'm sharing the screen on my desktop device and you can see that that's what the stream looks like. It's a 1080p display and I'm sharing just a YouTube desktop window. Don't unmute the mic, pro tip, especially if you're in the same room on two different calls. All right, let's go ahead and mess around a little more here with the Telegram app. So let's end this call, okay? And let's just go around here and let's look at the channels, for example. So here's our Virilla Trading channel and you can go ahead and subscribe to it and then view videos. So for example, now that I'm on the mobile app, you can actually view YouTube videos directly from the Telegram app without even having to access YouTube, which is pretty awesome. Yep, so I'm viewing this video now inside the Telegram app. No need for YouTube there, which is pretty awesome. This is one of the reasons why we love Telegram right here is the amazing emoji animations, of course. Okay, I'm gonna show you guys real quick how to delete multiple messages. Here's an example of deleting multiple messages in a Telegram chat all at once. Let's say you've cluttered your chat and you just wanna get rid of some messages. You start by selecting one message. So I'm gonna select this one by tapping and holding on it. And you can see it's selected right there. And now what you do is you tap with two fingers and you drag up on the screen like this. And you can see we're selecting all these messages one at a time. All right, once you're satisfied with that, you can pretty much just see the number of messages you've selected at the top. In this case, we have 46 messages currently selected. If you want to delete them, you click on the garbage can icon here at the bottom and then it will prompt you and say, delete for you and the other person or just delete them for you. Do not select clear chat here because that's actually gonna prompt you to delete all the messages in your chat. So that's how you delete multiple messages at once in a pretty fast way. Cool. Another cool thing you can do with the calls in Telegram is you can actually record the audio of the call and listen to it again later, like this. 
So you select start recording right there. And you can choose to record a video file or an audio file. Um, now what I notice is that the bit rate of the video file is quite low. It doesn't record a high quality. So obviously if you want to record a high quality file, you're better off just recording the call on OBS or some sort of other software outside of it. Um, but it's still convenient that if you do want to record a call and listen back to it later, you can just record the call in Telegram itself and it'll record it into an audio file. So that's very convenient. Now, one of the main reasons why Telegram is super fun is because of the emojis and the stickers. So this is what you do when you just want to fool around with your friends and you're hanging out at a party and you just want to go crazy with a dopamine rush. What's really cool is that if you tap on an emoji that has an animation to it and you're in a chat with somebody, you can see that the emoji also appears on the, on the other chat for the other person. When that's happening, you'll see at the very top of the screen that the person you're in the chat with is also watching the emoji animation. So that's pretty cool. So just for fun, I'll put a couple of these, um, you know, crazy emojis here and I'll see which ones have animations. So I'll just put that and there you go. There's one of them. Um, not all of them have animations, but some of them do. So we got the pumpkin, we got the alien thing. This one's pretty cool. <laughs> so, you know, you send these emojis and you just play around, right? And it's like a crazy dopamine rush. It looks extremely cool on your mobile device. It pretty much lights up the whole screen with an animation. So when you wanna have fun, you play with the emojis and the stickers. I like the fact that they have these really high quality stickers and these sticker sets. Um, if you're creative and you're a developer, you can probably create your own stickers which would be pretty cool. And then you can search for stickers and gifts. So I'll go onto the desktop now and I'll just show an example here at the top right. You can see emoji stickers and gifts. You can search. And then if you have the Telegram Premium, they have all these, you know, custom advanced emojis that you can't access unless you have the Telegram Premium, which is like, I don't know, four bucks a month or something. You could send them to yourself in your saved messages to see what these look like. And then the last thing I wanna show is inline bots, which is really convenient for sending yourself stuff from the net over Telegram. So you go into your chat and the way you activate an inline bot is by typing at and then the name of the bot, the handle of the bot. So I'll show you the YouTube searching bot, which is this one, at vid. And then you space and then you can see it gives us a query there that says search YouTube. So now we can type in a YouTube search query. And once we search it, you can see it gives us the search results for YouTube videos. So in this case, these are the videos. We can then bring up a video by clicking on it and it brings it right into the chat. On a mobile device, you can watch YouTube videos directly inside of the Telegram app, which is extremely good. It doesn't require this sort of cross-platform thing where it sends you to the YouTube app to watch the video. And now I'm playing the video here directly in the Telegram app which is awesome. All right, that's what I got for you guys here today. Remember to click on this video right here to watch more awesome content. And if you enjoyed this video and you wanna see more awesome tips and tricks and hacks for the software that I use, comment below to let me know what you think. Thank you, take care.